Just when you think irony can't peek its ugly head anymore, yeah, it happens. Does it again, irony, every single time. Yes, uh, it's, it's shaping up more and more like the Vikings could face the New York Giants in the playoffs. Yes, you got the potential three seed versus the potential six seed. We've already heard all the narratives, all the stories. Yeah, the Vikings win and, you know, the 49ers lose. They could still potentially get the two seed. Stop it. Stop it. Because this would not only be uh, more fitting for this NFL season, but it would also make the most sense because, I mean, it's the Vikings. Uh, as a fan, uh, as a guy that's watched this team for so long, it's just, it is what it is at this point. Like, of course, they're going to go and play a team that's getting hot at the right time. Like, like we're just going to sit around here and completely forget what this team, uh, and I know, and I know I'm going to get for saying, I don't know what I'm going to get for saying this, but I really don't care because we're going to completely just forget what this team absolutely, the, the dismantling that they did of the Indian Indianapolis Colts. And I'm going to cut a, a couple of you off at the pass there in the comment section down below. Oh, but the Vikings had the biggest comeback against the world again, in, in the history of the NFL against the Colts. I don't care. In fact, I would actually say that the way that the Giants handled the Colts makes me more worried about them. Because it wasn't the fact that they went in there and absolutely did their thing, got the 38-10 to 10 win, and just completely just dismantled them. It was the fact that Daniel Jones and this team, we're talking also about Brian Dayball and the fact, the wonders he's worked with the Giants at this point. Uh, it, it's about the fact that how hot this team is already getting and i know when i say hot you know some teams you might come to mind are yes the cowboys or maybe even teams like the san francisco 49ers who we just made a video about but the point of the matter is daniel jones had four touchdowns against the colts not not necessarily all that uh big bang impressive but it's the fact that he's doing it with basically no wide receivers like let's be real richie james is arguably your number one isaiah hodgins uh excuse me i know i'm not even pronouncing that correct but you know this defense just looks and uh, yes Kayvon thibodeau looking every bit of the the realist there like he's an absolute stud uh this defense has taken a major step forward this year and it's of course the vikings could potentially play the giants in the playoffs and yes i know it could potentially be at u.s bank stadium but i don't care because the Giants are now in a position where they look better than the Vikings right now. Like, let's call a spade a spade right now. And I know that the Vikings, yes, they they got a little bit, I would say, complacent in a way. Like, oh, we could always come back against these teams. I dare you. I dare you to try that against the Giants again. Like, and again, it's not because the Giants, you know, strike fear into all of their opponents, but it's the fact that this team is it's doing what the Vikings are not right now. They are hot at the right time. They have blown teams out. They have they have confidently taking care of teams during the NFL season. Something that the Vikings have done since week one against the new, against the Green Bay Packers, excuse me. But overall, if you are a Vikings fan, if you're a Giants fan, this is going to be interesting, all that. But I'm not putting my chips down on the Vikings because this team... It's just never pretty. It really is never pretty, and I think that the Giants, uh, you know, are really a team that is putting a lot of things together. And and by the way, a very short amount of time. Like it really wasn't that long ago that this team, and, and really the NFC East, was the laughing stock of the NFL. Uh, how much a difference a year makes, huh? Yeah. So the Giants are a legitimate team. They've got a good defense. They have a formula that can win on offense. And I'm scared. Like I really think this team uh, might not necessarily make the Super Bowl, but I think that they are well on their way. And I think that the Vikings uh, and Vikings fans, they're for cannot take this lightly because I think this could be a game uh, that could really uh, it, it could really just crush the Vikings. I really do think it could be. I mean, do I need to remind everybody of what was it like the 2000 NFC title game? Like I just this team. I I never used to knock on wood before, but this team just it, it brings out the worst in you. But uh, you know that's the way it's shaping up right now. The Giants could be playing the Vikings uh, in that three versus six seed matchup. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truly awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover but let us know what you guys think about the potential rematch in the playoffs between the new york G giants and the minnesota vikings